And I said, okay. She said, three days as a background dancer in a film. The first thing that goes through your mind is, yeah, right. Well, the film was Out to Sea with Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau. I'm going to be in a movie with Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau. So they sent me out to the producer's office, and the producer says, what's your SAG number? And I said, I don't have a SAG number. So without even looking up, he says, okay, for the first 30 days, we'll, ta we'll taft hardly you, and then you have to join the union. I said, 30 days? I said, I was here for three days. And he looked, at, looked up and said, do you want the job or not? People talk sometimes about defining moments in their life. Boy, it, it, a big sign came out in front of me. And I said, yes. Security. It says white knuckles. I can't read the. 2008. 2008. Love, Julie. That's Marty. <laughs> and it's my birthday today. I'm not 2008. I'm a 2,000 year Tell old man. Tell people that Julie's the one you run away with once a year. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's very sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. I got a couple birthday presents. First, today is my 69th birthday. Here I am talking about the most meaningful piece of work I've ever done on my birthday. And I get very emotional about that because the tie-in is amazing. I was short and fat, got teased a lot. Harvey the Rabbit was a movie for James Stewart that was around when I was growing up. And kids can be very cool. You know, I've never said this to anybody at any time in my entire life, but I'm going to tell you something. I guess I escaped to the movies. And I thought I was Fred Astaire, but we already had a Fred Astaire. I wanted to be a song and dance man. Problem was, I couldn't sing. <laughs> I have a nice sounding voice, but I can't carry a tune worth the damn. But I danced pretty good. And I was reminded sometime later, as a, an adult, that Fred Astaire was interviewed and, and the casting director wrote some notes that went something like, acts a little, dances a little, sings a little, hair thinning. Fred Astaire. And so when I was a kid, I escaped to the movies, and, and I think a lot of us do. It doesn't negate that I did, but I think that's what movies are about. They're supposed to take you someplace. It may be different for each film, it may be a different vision for each film, but every film is a form of escapism. Sometimes, and White Knuckles was one of them. It wasn't an escape as a Fred Astaire movie might be. I couldn't get you off the couch this morning. Well, let's just roll up in a little ball and die. Now, would you like that? We all have to go someplace to bring truth to a role. And sometimes the truth hurts like hell. People come into your life. And they come into your life for different reasons at different times. Now Sabi Pictures means something to me. Because Sabi Pictures as a name means nothing. But Sabi Pictures as people mean a lot. The people that I work with allowed me to present my vision. Whether or not it was chosen to be accepted in the film, I don't know. But the fact that he allows an actor to go someplace and bring something perhaps new and different is something that an actor just relishes. I mean, oh boy, yum. Because we see things too. Improvisation frees the soul, it frees the things in you, and the surprises are amazing. I've done between TV shows, movies, commercials, music videos. I was a dancer. Uh, over 50 projects. I've never had an experience like this with any other project ever. To be in a safe environment that allows you to explore makes me feel important as a contributor as opposed to somebody who's reading lines. There wasn't a day on the set and God, I missed filming. It was too short. 
But there wasn't a day on the set that I didn't feel like we were truly a family and that people cared about each other.